Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Learn with Deepika. Today in this video we will see how to measure probability and the difference between theoretical and experimental probability and also you will find the list of important outcomes. Let's start with measure of probability which means how likely a particular event occurs or likelihood of occurring an event and the formula is P of A is equals to number of favorable or desirable outcomes upon total number of all possible outcomes and this formula can also be explained in the terms of sample points and sample space according to that the formula is P of A is equals to n of A upon n of S where P of A is the probability of an event A n of a is number of sample points in event a and n of s is sample point in sample space in general we study experimental and theoretical probability both so let's see the difference between them experimental probability which is also known as empirical probability is based on actual experiment and the formula is p of a is equals to number of times event occurs upon total number of trials whereas in case of theoretical probability or we say classical probability actual results are not required and the formula is p of a is equals to number of favorable outcomes upon total number of possible outcomes if you see the example of experimental probability you can see the probability of head is 7 upon 10 and the tail is 3 upon 10 but if experiment is performed again the result won't be same but in case of theoretical probability we make certain assumption like the outcomes are equally likely so no matter how much time coin is tossed results are same and that is probability of head or probability of tail is equals to 1 upon 2 Now we have few important outcomes of random experiment. Number one, tossing a coin, and the results are H and T. Number two, tossing a coin two times or two coins tossed simultaneously, and the results are H H H T T H and T T. Number three, tossing a coin three times. In this case, there is a very easy way to remember all the outcomes. Like like you can see here, we have eight outcomes. and the best way is to learn this way like in first column you can write 4 times h and 4 times t in second column you will write 2 times h and then 2 times t 2 times h and then 2 times t this way and in third column you have to write h t h t alternatively so this way you will get total eight outcomes and now we have generalized formula to find number of sample points in case of coin and the formula is n of s is equals to 2 raised to power n where n is number of times a coin is tossed for example if a coin is tossed for 3 times so this will be 2 raised to power 3 and we know 2 raised to power 3 is 8 so that means there are 8 outcomes similarly you can find the number of outcomes for four coin as well this is 2 raised to power 4 which is 16 Number 4 in throwing a dice once and the results are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6. Number 5 in throwing a dice two times or two dice simultaneously and the results are 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 and up to 6 6. Here also we have a generalized formula to find number of sample points in case of dice and the formula is n of s is equals to 6 raised to power n where n is number of times dice thrown. Number 6 will shuffle deck of 52 cards. So in total we have 52 cards out of which 26 cards are black and 26 cards are red. Out of black cards we have 13 cards of spade and 13 cards of club and out of red cards we have 13 cards of heart and 13 cards of diamond. And total we have 36 cards which are numbered cards start from 2 3 4 5 6 and up to 10. and we have 12 face cards face cards are jack queen and king and four ace cards uh, this thing is very important when we will solve question based on playing cards number 7 is outcome of one die and one coin rolled simultaneously and here you can see we have total 12 outcomes 
Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. 